Alright guys, we are back, episode number four. This is one I'm really excited for here. Uh, just finished off the trade deadline. And I uh, got 20 games left. And I uh, I think we can make a real good push for, for the cup here. Um, obviously, I don't really, I shouldn't say obviously, I don't think we're going to win the cup. Um, but let me just, let me just show everybody where we are here, okay? So we're ranked 7th in the whole NHL. We should have just made our team better a little bit. Um, and, uh, let's see here in the East. We're going 1, 2, 2, so... Yeah, it's going to be good. Right now, uh, we're ranked against Montreal. The Montreal Canadiens. So, um... It's going to be interesting. Um, these divisions are all weird, though, so... Uh... I mean, if we win... Right? If we win our division... Uh, let's see, where are we here? There we go. Nope, wrong one. There we go. I think. Uh, if we win our division, like we are, then uh, we will probably be playing the uh, one of these two teams down here. So we'll see. See, we'll see, we'll see. Let's get into it, though. I'm excited. <coughs> Let's get right after it here. So, I think these two big, uh, games right here are going to be super big. Um, I like to pause it at Toronto there because they're, they're right behind us n nipping at us uh, for a playoff spot. So, this might be a pivotal game and we won't, we won't even know until now. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sim these two games. Let's hope we get three points. I like three points in those games. We should be able to win them both though, but three points. Excuse me, just having a drink. Some Gatorade. Um, let's see. We'll probably just sim in uh, any big trades that that the uh, computer is gonna make here. Let's see. To Vancouver. Look at that. Wow, they trade Stasny again. Wow, Vancouver might be making a push. Let's see, Anaheim. You get that defense from, used to be Calgary, um, but I guess he signed to Carolina as a free agent, and they traded him. Wow, look at that. Rangers have fired their head coach. Okay. Uh, trade deadline, nope, we already did that. So, Ekholm would be nice, but when we looked at him, we don't really have a spot for him, so... Now I am open to trades leading up to the deadline because uh, our block is edited. But like I said, the the big moves that I wanted to make, I already made them. So let's see. Oh Montreal, yeah, Spurgeon. That's gonna be a big, big piece, big piece for them. They uh, they want to bump us. Yeah, no, I'm not doing this trade here. Oh, okay, we only got two points. We lost to Buffalo, which a bit of a weaker loss, but here we go. I uh, Toronto won their game, two games actually, or two, one game, no, one game, and lost one and lost one in overtime. So they played. No, they won one. Sorry, they won one and they lost one in overtime. So let's see. Um, I am gonna sim a little bit quicker here, but where's Toronto on the standings? Toronto's 67. So they're only three points out of a wild card, and 13 points behind us. Going to be a slow sim here. I mean, they're not the absolute closest, but first period, nice, 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 nice. Yep, I haven't pronounced. I haven't figured out how to pronounce this guy's names yet. I don't know. It's like the the H silent, so it's like Baumick, Baumick, B O W, or 
Bahau Bahau Milik. So I don't know. But anyways, he scored us. That's nice. Second, nothing. And third, nice. Ended it off. Empty netter and Strom. Beautiful. It's a big, big win, like I said. I don't I don't think we're gonna realize it right now how big of a win that is, but that uh that's a pretty big win. Um Ottawa, they're not really doing too, too bad. They might be in a similar situation as the Leafs, so let's sim up to that game and just see where they're at. If they're, um, he has been, I will replace him. Um, see if they're in a position that Toronto was. Look at that, nice. That's beautiful. Win, win, shootout loss. So obviously we wanted that win, but our backup got us a point. Ottawa here. Where are they? They are very similar. Yeah, that's a must win game for them too. Let's slow sim in here. See who's gonna do what. 1-1. One, one. Strom. Hutton. Tristan Jarry in net. Ho ho going tit for tat. Torelli. Roussel. Times it by 8 here. Let's just take a look. Can we get a hero? Can we get somebody to, uh, you know, show that they want to win? Because we're already doing great in the standings. We need people. Depth doesn't matter. Anybody. Power play. Can we put one in? No, nothing. Might be going into overtime. Oh, nice. He comes in clutch again. Bahal Bahalmik, the Bowman. That's his new nickname. Bowman that beauty take a look at the stats here Strom two points beautiful Hoffman bow man plus two I might need to move this guy up man he's only getting 13 minutes but he's doing a great job Wow I think I might need to move him up three stars yeah look at that Bennington doing a great job Alright, let's just keep cruising then, boys, because we're having a great season right now. Um, I don't see any re reason to change anything. Let's try and get all the way down here, going on a bit of a West Coast run. I mean, yes, Carolina's in the East. It's weird how they have us going from Carolina. I mean, sorry, from Calgary to Carolina. Those are both super competitive teams, too. Wow. I would... Wow, I'd love to grab two points out of this, even if we split them. I don't know. Chicago's another good team. Lots of, lots of killers in the West. Then we go back down for one game in Pittsburgh. Head back out West. Vegas, Vancouver. And then Florida. Let's go see all the way up here. Ryan Strom has something to talk to you. I want to speak about my ice time concerns. Right now, I do not feel like playing 15 minutes, 11 seconds is enough given my abilities hmm 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 alright I think you were right we should be playing you more disagree persuade hmm. you know what I'm gonna agree with him and see what he says I like the sound of that. I expect to average more minutes a night for the next few games. Hmm. I don't think we can accommodate such demand. A few minutes. What's that? Like, just switching them maybe? Cap, okay, let's do it. I'll switch him for a couple games. I'll switch him for that stretch I'm talking about. We'll see how he does. See how he's doing. See how he does. Stop him before we get there. Let's take a look here. That's tough. I got you on the third line. You're doing is that 50 points. You are having a good season. You are having a good season, eh? What is Sorelli doing? Oh, I might be able to switch him like that. Oh, I'll switch him like that. I'll see how he does. Remember, he's got uh, 50 points, 68 games. And Sorelli's got 31 and 62. 
So he's at 50 points. He's at 31. Let's see how they do. Let's see how they do. After that little bit of stretch there. I said right to Florida, right? Let's see. I'd love to grab two points here in Calgary. Love to grab two points. Ah, uh, fuck. Um, I'll look at the draft class after this. Yes, grab two from Carolina. That's beautiful. He's been injured again. This guy gets injured all the time. Uh, I'm just going to replace him. Chicago, nice. Pittsburgh, they're having an okay year. Nothing crazy, though. Um, Oakville, that's our AHL team. March 30th. Let's take a look and see what we got here going on. Too many injuries right now. Well, you kind of fit up there. But I got scratched here. Zinger. Oh, it says D. Guess I'll just throw this guy in. Perfect. Big loss there to uh, Pittsburgh. New Jersey, New Jersey Devils have fired their head coach, okay? <clears throat> Multiple players in Oakville. Um, I feel like we just addressed a lot of them. Let's see. We're doing okay. <sighs> Excuse me, guys. I'm tired. Um... Is anybody on here I don't want to play? There'd be some him out. Goligovsky. Yeah. Anybody else? Purcell maybe? I'd like to put him in, yeah. Alright. They get a plus three, perfect. Alright, let's keep rolling. We're getting some points here. He's happy you kept the promise. I'm gonna see how you did. I'm gonna see how you did, so. If you got more points than Sorelli, that's big. I'm gonna drop you back, uh, or sorry, if you got less points than Sorelli, I'm dropping you back down. Bergeron's taking a bit of a, a slow pace here. He was doing very well, well over a point per game. He's slowing down a little bit. All right, let's see how these guys did. He was at 50. He's at 56. Hmm. Hmm. But he did much better than Sorelli. He did much better than Sorelli. Um. I'm gonna leave these guys here. Look at this guy though. Six game winning goals out of 17. Wow. He's a power forward, but he can put the puck in the net, I wonder. Can I put him up? I'm not getting Lucas Freeman off. Uh, tough. All right. Uh, we got seven games left. <sighs> might be facing the Canadians. Might be facing the Maple Leafs. Let's see. Yeah, I might be facing the Canadians right now anyways. Haven't officially clinched it, which is pretty crazy. I don't think anybody can overpass us. Like, I don't know why we haven't clinched yet. I think we just need... Because 7 points is 14. 82, 4, 6. I guess that's 96, yeah. So I need to win one game, or the Leafs need to lose. I guess I just need to win one game and I've officially clinched. So, okay. Um, let's see, any big games coming up? Montreal is pretty big. Um, let's send them up to there. Just need a point. Yeah, we officially clinched. Perfect. <clears throat> just as we get two losses in a row, that's never good. Let's finish off strong here, guys. Islanders, nice win there. Nice win, San Jose. Another big win, Capitals. 
get us over a hundred point. So we hand to Montreal. Second last game. Wow, look at that. I think Montreal just kicked himself out. Strom's killing it. I'm happy I put him up on that second line like he wanted. <clears throat> Sammy Blay. Somebody I haven't really heard much from. So it's good to see him scoring. And this guy again, man. This guy is, is third period magic. Bergeron scoring on uh, Carey Price there. Bergeron, three points. Wow. Petrangelo, the captain. Captain Petey. Three stars. Let's take a look. <clears throat> Bergeron, yeah, three points. Come on. Sammy Blay, nice. And Bennington. Bennington's having a good year. Too. Thinking maybe I do I give him uh, two two days off, I think. I guess the last game off here. Get him rested. And again we'll probably have we probably won't start till the fourteenth, so you don't want him too rested. You know what? Let's just finish the season with him in net. Might as well. Might as well. Nice win there, perfect. Hundred and six point season. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. 106. That's... That's good. I, I, I thought we were going to do well. I didn't think we were going to do that well. Tampa Bay, 100 points. They might be somebody we should... Uh, scout a little bit more, I think. I mean, we've got... Hmm. We don't have their team strategies. Might be... Oh, no scouts in the region. Hmm. It's because we have him scouting Montreal right now. Yeah, we got him scouting Montreal. Hmm. Which, by the way... Wow, by the way, they stole the wild card from the Metropolitan Division, didn't they? Oh, no. Because they were out of it. They were out of it. Who's ahead of them? Boston? I think Boston might have been ahead of them. Wow. Wow, yep. Isn't that wild? Look at that. Florida might actually jump in front of the Leafs. Right? Because if the we if the Leafs lose. Yeah, uh, I don't know what it goes to after that. Check out the whole league. Wow. Colorado. Killing it. Killing it. Vegas. Wow. He's got the same name as uh, coaching staff. Look at that guy. I wonder if we have his son. It's wild. B. Bahomek. That's the same name. Obviously, that's us right there. Uh, I gotta check that out. I gotta check that out. Look at the head coach. B. Bahomek. About this guy I've been calling Bowman. The Bowman. Or Bowman, I should say. Bow. Alright, anyways, let's take a look at your goals for per game. Eight, nine, ninth. Came ninth in that. Goals against. Sick look. Three, four, five, six. So we did all right. Did all right. Um, power play percentage. It's got to be up there, no? 27%. Wow. That number is deadly. Wow. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13. So we're middle of the pack. Tied for 12. Hmm. Uh, let's take a look at penalty kill. Big jump there, eh? From 84 to 1.3%. 
Wow, we are second last with penalty kill percentage. So we know we got to tighten that up for the playoffs. How many shorthand goals? Wow. That. I think it said five. Yeah, five for that. We're, we're pretty even. Um, two games better away, which is good. All right. Let's take a look at, uh, we just officially end the season here. That's everybody. Let's take a look around the league. We'll do our team first, and then we'll take a look around the league. Wow. So Strom ended up having a pretty good year after I put him in that uh, second line. We got Bergeron almost a point per game. Uh, this guy is a seasoned veteran, as you see, drafted 2003. This guy's been probably playing in the NHL for 19 years, so... Um, wow, 20 years. This is 20th season. No, sorry. 19th season. No, yeah, 20th season, right? No, 19th. So, I mean, he's been around, right? Uh, he's having some good years, though. He's going to have another one with us. So... I think I sign him again, unless something else happens, but he's off contract after this year. We're going to have to gonna have to space. He helped us out a lot. I think we sign him. Um, Strom, yeah, he really, he really turned it around. Sammy Boy, Hoffman, Klingberg. That's nice to get that D jump. Nice having two guys, him and Petrangelo. 55 and 48. Lucas Raymond. I uh, I thought he was going to do a lot more this year. Um, he was on pace to do better than in last year. But he set it off really hot. Got injured and never really came back on the train. Um, he's still young, 21, so future looks bright, but thought he was going to start off hot. Uh, Zizica, this guy has been unreal. 31 goal score, <clears throat> over 30 goals. Pfft, can't beat that. Look at his sniping stats. Almost 90 and everything. Um, he's got a super hard shot. For being fourth overall, this guy is going to be an absolute stud. Um, take a look, Duclair. Yeah, I don't know. I uh, have him locked in for another year. I don't see him going, uh, you know, like he almost got 40 points, but he, he didn't do that great the year that we got him. He did okay. Um, beat 40, but just beat 40. Uh, 57, that was his best, and last year he dropped off. He's dropping off again. I think he might be somebody, if we can get something for it, the draft. Maybe it's worth training. Uh, and this guy. This guy, I, I'm only a 23 goal scorer. Um, but I'm, I'm super proud of this guy. Uh, I think... Uh, I basically said he was a wash, but I'm uh, putting up 23 points on the fourth line. Partly on the third, too. Um, yeah, I'm excited for him. Uh, again, 22, so he, he still got lots of growing to do, but I think when he's 24, 25, I, I won't be surprised if this guy's putting up 60, 70 points, which that, that would be good for us, right? Uh, Jeremy Dowd, yeah, real sad man, this guy was, uh, he was on pace to become rookie of the year, took a bad injury, Sorelli, <sighs> I don't even know what to say, 
like the stats speak for themselves right goes from an 80 82 uh, game full season 51 points to a 75 game 33 points now he was plus 20 so that's that's good right he is a two-way forward but I was gonna give this guy the A I don't know I need to see more out of him and this defense right here again he's not killing it 31 look at the jump he got though 87 overall and his stats are very very good 93 defensive awareness and 79 offensive awareness this guy's gonna be a threat uh, he's only 511 but this guy's gonna be a threat um, let's go anybody we're missing here defense nope goalies take a look at goalies Bennington you know um, he came back and I don't know 50 52 games played almost a full he almost got in full time as a start I like my starters to get about 55 games um, 60 games right in this case 87 and uh, 77 how do I probably 60 games uh, he gets 22 games but anyways he came back after injury and this guy just went on fire on fire that's very good save percentage and goals against average um this guy did did very well for being a backup I uh, he got the points I was looking out of him um, if he get the jump I might <coughs> I might seriously think about this guy as a backup permanently or the AHL starter uh, let's just take a look here rookie skaters yeah Dowd man uh, this guy could have been rookie of the year but he's 20 that's a good thing when they get hurt young they come back and uh, he'll do very well let's take out check out the whole league pardon me hopefully we take out the whole league too but rookie skaters we got this uh, Miroslav Austin's 82 games played 53 points uh, 19 was he drafted excuse me first overall 2022 power forward that guy might be an absolute stud coming up um Cole Perfetti this guy was drafted 2021 first overall too um and then we got Dowd all the way down here because look at that man like like if he keeps that pace he blows this guy out of the water like we're talking 66 points but it's alright um anybody for goalies uh, Stuart Skinner hmm doesn't really have the numbers but he's got the wins so he might take rookie of the year um but yeah you gotta give to Ozens you gotta give to this guy I think 37 goals he's a sniper oh he's not he's a power forward he's a power forward that can shoot so yeah you got to give that guy let's look at Vesna Vesna wow uh, let me just move the games up here okay I like to put in 40 games minimum I mean Ben Bishop 41 wins it's very hard to deny that guy uh, let's take a look at save percentage excuse me yeah Bennington right there wow 921 Carey Price though 924 and a better GAA Wow Does Carey Price take it at 35? I think he might I think he might I mean who else has their the name in the hat Vasilevsky for sure Vasilevsky played eight more games 
Didn't have a better record though. Mm. Mm. Yeah, didn't have a better record. Interesting. Bobrovsky maybe, um, but I doubt it. I think I think Price takes it. To be honest, Price. I'd say there is, it's either Price um, or or Bishop. But I mean, it's tough to give it to Bishop because that I mean that's that's pretty much a team stat. But uh, let's take a look here at defense. Wow. Alright, well. Yep. Wow. Quinn Hughes. Nice. It's good to see all these guys in the West. <laughs> Shea Weber. 37 years old. Let's take a look here at forwards. Wow, what a line. McKinnon Rantanen, 1 2 in scoring. Wow. <laughs> That's insane. Um, McDavid, Krill, Kozlov. Is this guy franchise? Medium, huh? Medium elite. Hmm. Mark Stone did good too. Let's take check out most goals. Ty or Sagan wins it. Ovi though. 37. 45 goals. Wow. David. McDavid's a 97 overall. Wow. Mark Besser. Wow. <sighs> Excuse me. Plus minus. Yeah, I went and then yeah, look at that line. <laughs> wow. Colorado might win it, I think. Um let's see who came highest shooting percentage. Most clutch. <sighs> hmm, this is one and four here for Casper Cap Kapanen. Panarin's 10 and 37. Hmm. Because there's Kadri though. Oh, you gotta give to this guy. Who's this? Nine game winning goals, but only 16 goals. That's insane. Uh, most power play points. Let's see. Pacioretty. Wow, I was not expecting that. With 18 goals. Max Pacioretty, sniper. Wow, okay. Um. Best face-off percentage. Um, Peter Janssen. Jonathan Taves. Ottawa. He's falling off a little bit, eh, Jonathan Taves? Um, let's see. Any fights? How many fights? Kyle Clifford has 17 fights in the National Hockey League <laughs> for Montreal. Wow. After playing in the AHL for two years, he goes up to Montreal and has 17 fights. And the next person has three, and that's our guy. Wow. All right, well, all right, there you go. They they always reveal this at the end, but uh, I'm just showing you guys who won it last year. We did win rookie of the year uh, last year. That was nice. Very good. Just take a drink here and see who we are facing. Yeah. Just like we thought. The Montreal Canadiens. 
with Kyle Clifford, who fought 17 times. <laughs> All right, let's take a look here at Montreal. Let's get right into it. Okay, Ryan Dezingle. Cock and the Emmy. Kapanen. Max Domi. Fernalin, who's a grinder, I believe, right? Yep. Cole Perfetti. Okay, interesting lineup you got there. Playmaker. Playmaker grinder. Hmm. All right. Terry Hirose. He's a tiny, tiny guy. 161. Wow. Uh, Nick Suzuki. Scott Lawton. So playmaker, playmaker, two way forward. Um, and this is Mr. Fights over here. Boone Jenner on the fourth line. Interesting. Okay, let's take a look at the defense. Their defense is not looking too good at all. Their defense is not looking good at all. Goalies, of course, they have Price and... Yes, Caden Primo. The next incredible all-star goalie that Montreal is supposed to have. Um, who do they have scratched? Nobody that's probably playing. Hmm. I think we beat these guys, and I think we can beat them in probably four or five games. So, that being said, let's do it. All right. Just going to sim each period, and then 2-1. Wow, Spurgeon, come on. In the slot like that. Strom, way to go. All right, boys, we need something. Sorelli, nice. And Bowman, yeah, it is. It's the same spelling. It's the same spelling. I wonder if we got, wonder if we have uh, his son there. And we're going into overtime. Anthony Sorelli on Carry Price to tie the game up. Wow. There we go. Overtime. Game one. Burlington Bulldogs. First playoff game ever. They're at home. We're against the Montreal Canadiens. Joe's got a power play. Can we kill it off? Can we kill it off? Can we kill it off? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. A little bit more. Nice. Good job, boys. Billington's getting some shots off. That's good. And I think we got a game winner. Patrice Bergeron. Beautiful. Anthony Duclair. Four points. He had a four-point night. Wow. All right. Let's move forward here. I, uh, I like that we won that. I'd like to keep our goals against under five. All right, first period, 1-1. One, one. Second period, 2-2. Two, two. Third period, here we go again. Into the slow sim. Hopefully this doesn't take us to overtime. But... <sighs> Cock and the Emmy on the first line scores. Under 10 minutes left. We need a hero. We need somebody that can tie the game up, send it in overtime. Come on, come on, come on. Knots and Montreal Canadiens take game two. Wow. It looks like our AHL is also in the playoffs. That's perfect, it is. Nice. Simulate this first round. First or third game of the first round. See how we do. Let's go. First period, 1-1. One, one. Max Domi. And Walls. Uh, Alright boys, we need a go-ahead goal here. We need one and stay ahead. Let's go into the third period. Either up, 3-1. Or up, 2-1. Tied period. Third period. Here we go. 
an absolute burn burner. This guy is deserving every minute of ice time he is getting right now. Wow. Let's look at our three stars. Of course, two goals. Klingberg, two assists. Beautiful. Excuse me. He's been injured with a mild concussion. Mmm, April 23rd. Dowd has been sitting out. Hmm. Let's try this out. That should only make us better. I thought I put Dowd back in, but I guess I never did. All right, there we go. Big win there. Takes us up 2-1. I thought we were going to blow through these guys pretty easy. Um, I'd love us to win back-to-back -back here. First period. Another goal. Second period. Nice. We're getting some secondary scoring. Duclair on that third line. And Sokolov on the uh, first defensive. We'll have to close it out here. Shut the door. Maybe get one more and just shut him down. Just like I said, Sammy Boy. Oh, an empty netter. That's all right. We take the series. 3-1. Around the league, Winnipeg has shut out Vegas to advance. Canucks are three games to O. Calgary is 3-1 and one on Avalanche. And Stars are 2-1 and one on Chicago. We have a 2-2 two -two with Carolina and Florida. Cast 3-0, Pittsburgh versus Philly, and 2-1, let's see, who would we be facing next, if, and when we beat the Canadians, we will be facing either Toronto or Tampa Bay. I'm very shocked to see that the Colorado Avalanche are down 3-1, that is wild. All right, let's go into game five here. All right, boys, I would love to take this home. That's it. Take it at home. First period. 1-0. Cole Perfetti. All right, second period. Here we go. 4-1. That's right, the captain... Petrangelo walked into the dressing room and he gave a big speech. And Ryan Strom comes out. First goal. Shot on net. Can't believe it goes in, but it counts. Klingberg from high, high slot on the defensive post. Zizica right in the slot. Nobody can stop that beautiful shot he's got. And Anthony Duclair again. I if we said, I don't know if I'm bringing it back. <gasps> And they did that, and I didn't think it was even possible, but Montreal scored three in the third to tie the game up as we go into overtime. And game five. Okay, good. Killed off the penalty. We just got there. Cut down to four times here. Alright Burlington, I need somebody big here. I need somebody big. Petrangelo to love a goal from you. We're still rocking five on five. Kill off the penalty. Kill off the penalty. Come on a little bit longer. Nice, nice, nice. Kill it off. Kill it off. Long two minutes. Might even be a five minute major. Hit the guy coming out the box maybe. As we go into double overtime. We bring in the captains to give a big speech. We have Petrangelo talking about how this is how dreams are made. You dream about this. Game 7. Here we go. Make the dreams come true, boys. Somebody listens. Somebody answers. And his name is Cody CC. Beautiful. That is that late edition that we got. 
at the deadline. Got CC on the point to help out a third line. And he comes out huge. The goal. We are going to simulate a day. Calgary Flames have officially beaten out the Colorado Avalanche. The Vancouver Canucks have swept the San Jose Sharks and Dallas is 3-1 over the Blackhawks. And look at this. The series that we're going to face next is 2-2. Tampa, Toronto. The Pittsburgh Penguins has the have the only clean sweep in the East over Philadelphia. The Florida Panthers are 3-2 over the Carolina Hurricanes. Simulate another day. Maple Leafs go up 3-2. Fl uh, Florida closes out their series with Carolina in six. Just waiting to see on who we're facing next. Wow, goes to a game seven. Everybody else already knows who they're facing. We got back J Jack Studnicka. It's a good, good depth piece we could throw in. Here it is, game seven tonight. They're going to be playing again on the 29th. Current round is over. Who are we facing? We are facing the Toronto Maple Leafs. Wow. Yep, going to end the video here, guys. Um, we will continue the rest of the playoffs in episode 5. We will go over all of the team and coaches awards. Okay. We will also finish looking around the league at all the awards that have been passed out. Um... And we might do any last minute contracts that we want to check out now. Just to kind of check them out and see, you know, it might be cheaper this year if it goes to an extension. One might be Bergeron, right? He wants 7.125. That's kind of something we need to think about. I mean, you know, moving forward. Um... Maybe some of these guys might need an extension. I'm not seeing anybody right now, but any goalies? We need to figure out what we want to do with him. He wants just cheap money, so he might be a good backup. Um, and, you know, we look towards the future. I uh, Our team status right now is for this champion. But to close off this series, let's just take a look at the Toronto Maple Leafs. And uh, I'll start it the same way in the next video. We take a look at Toronto Maple Leafs and uh, what we're going up against. So, you know, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, subscribe. Uh, like the video. Share it. You know, spread me out wherever you can if you like the stuff. Really appreciate it, guys. All right. William Nylander here. Look at this. 88 overall. Two-way forward. Matthews. <sighs> Excuse me. He's considered a sniper. 91 overall and Mitch Marner who's a playmaker so they have a really really good first line second line looks pretty deadly too Janssen, Tavares, Pomolari. Um bit of an older guy but I'm sure he can provide some uh, some uh, good support okay we got Kerfoot, Malgan, and so this guy who's injured, so he may not be playing right away. Lipsix, um, Hudden, and Peary. Just take a quick look here. O'Reilly, oh yeah, Morgan, Riley, and Timothy Lily Green. So <clears throat> this guy is supposed to be real good. Uh, we don't have him fully scouted yet, so we can't fully tell uh, what he is, but he looks like he's. Uh, 
pretty pretty good guy anyways uh, Barry might be injured um, and then their third lines lacking on that Let's take a look at goalies they don't really have a goalie right now um, so that's definitely a win in that category Let's take a look at scratched so they might actually have to use Ganya here which is not the best ideal and then this guy here Krill if um if uh, I forget his name not Riley um Barry Barry's out um so I, I like the matchups that we have here let me just go check out their uh their um scheme fit real quick what's the best way to do that um strategies I think the best way to do that actually is to go up here it's a bit annoying and to look at Toronto they have a A plus head coach okay B minus assistant B minus assistant D minus um, so this is pretty accurate um, offensive pressure standard okay three on three aggressive yeah it makes sense they probably run two forwards and then maybe even two forwards and a two way forward maybe but with the two defense they got they're probably running that for three on three so to be honest I'm happy that we shouldn't have to face them too much three on three um Power play shooting, so yeah, they're gonna shoot a lot on the power play, which makes sense because they've got some real nice talent. Um, overload, 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 overload. Interesting. He's a very big fan of overload. Um, very big fan of balanced. Look at this, this guy. So we can run. This guy's Mr. Balanced. Look at that, Mr. Balance here. Everything's balanced except for forward line once shoot and cycle. And uh, yeah, this is how they're playing. They don't have a goalie. Hmm. All right, guys, that's it for me. Uh, catch you in the next one.